What's up, Internet? It's that time of year again where the nerds come out to play. Game of Thrones Season 6 is out, and I want to make a series of reaction videos to the best parts. I'm just going to show you the best parts. I'm a major Game of Thrones fan, and at this point, since the people who have read the books are going in the same without no information, the same as those who watch the series, should be a whole load of fun. I got my soul food right here, and join me as we navigate the night that is dark and full of terrors. Game of Thrones Season 6 Episode uh, Episode 1. Lego! This is good. Ah, it's back! Game of Thrones! Is it in Russian? <laughs> now it's in English. Ah, Game of Thrones! Season 6! It's surprising that one of these days there'll be a day when there are no more Game of Thrones episodes. No. <laughs> Sophie Turner gets hotter and hotter every year. <laughs> oh shit! They found her. Oh shit! Brienne of Tarth! Old face! Wreck face! Come on, feminism. That short is the sword is short. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 the girl that's the girl that I remember saying, um you want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy. Best line ever. You need a bad pussy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the f Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. You can do it. Oh, come on. Come on, Justine. Come on, Justine. Fuck her up. Fuck her up, Justine. Oh, shit. That went south so fast. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Finish it. Finish it. No, 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 no. Oh, that went south so bad. Fuck her up, just... Jorah is obviously one of my favorite characters. Old season guy. <laughs> now he believes in doubles. Now he believes in the red woman. You haven't seen her get freaky how I've seen her get freaky. She's gonna... Titties. Okay. Three. Two. There you go. Game of Thrones is back, everyone. Game of Thrones. There you go. Can't have that. Off her kid. She just took off her kid. Titties. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So she's actually old? What the fuck? She's a crone! She's a crone! Game of Crones! I'd still tap that though! 
I almost had sex with that. Stannis had sex with that. She's a crone. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? She's old as shit. And Stannis tapped that. And John almost tapped that. She's a crone. She's a crone. And Stannis touched that. And John touched, well, almost touched that. And her titties be touched that. Like, what the fuck? See you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Game of Thrones Season 6. We'll be doing these reactions and post episode review. So she's actually a crone. Okay, we're gonna do a post episode review for like five minutes because I just need to let it sink in. Holy shit. Okay, it's enough. Halas, halas. Episode five. Okay, so we just watched season six, episode one. A uh, lot of violence, two sets of tits, no Dothraki tits this time. Uh, there were no Dothraki subtitles, so I have no idea what they were saying in the Dothraki parts, but I'll just give my analysis. So at this point, everyone has no idea what's about to go on. Many people are saying that that the red woman who just took off her clothes and took off her necklace and became the old woman is going to do some blood magic and bring back Jon Snow, whose body was in the episode. So Kit Harington was in is part of the cast. Kit Harrington was still part of the cast as far as this episode is concerned. Uh, everyone's saying that the Red Woman is going to bring back Jon Snow somehow, just like Beric and Darion, the Lightning Count and the Lightning Priest and his other friend Thoros of Mir. The two best buds who we haven't seen for like four seasons, like two seasons, ever since season three. I don't think we've seen him back since then. Uh, but this episode was pretty tame. I think it was pretty tame. I think it really peaked at, to me, it really got really interesting when the um, Oberyn's Fubu, Oberyn's paramour, killed the Prince of Dorne, which was really messed up. And they also killed the heir to the Dornish throne, Prince Tristain. Like, like the same way that that mutineer... The mutineer guy died like a, a blade through the back of the head. That was that was crazy. I was hoping that Tristane could just man up and school those sand snakes, but it wasn't to be. Um, my opinion on the episode is it's relatively tame. It's a good starting point. I'm eager to see where they're going to take this, but a lot of revelations this episode is obviously towards the end and in, in the middle. Nothing's happened yet but uh the the cool three points the cool major three happenings of this episode is that uh sansa has linked up with brienne of tarth and that i think is going to bring in to like really awesome adventures because it, it's a it sounds like a really good time you've got brienne of tarth podrick podrick Payne, uh theon who's still alive awesome theon quest for redemption i'm hoping that theon goes on some quest of redemption and finally finds himself and then he's gonna die in the end of course still no news on stannis yet up in the north nothing much has happened but then again uh they, they didn't mention anything about the body i didn't when the bolton mr bolton we call him mr bolton uh Roose bolton was talking to his son ramsey bolton ramsey bolton who is now a my lord that fucker he, they didn't mention the body, they didn't see anything about the body, they don't know, he might be like a white walker, or like walking around the woods, just trolling, trolling in the woods right now, you don't know yet, but my hypothesis is that Stannis is going to come back as a walker, because they haven't found the body at this point, so that's still, that's still in the shoots, it's still in the possibility. Second highlight is that shit happened in Dorne, the, the, the Dornish throne has been overthrown, now the air is all gone, Elia's dead, Oberyn's dead. Tristan is dead. Doran Martell is also dead. So so they're planning a total complete coup. I guess you could say that the, the children, the Sand Snakes will probably start a new Dornish Empire at this point. The old the Dornish survive because because of the Dornish law, they don't they don't see 
bastards as something someone that cannot inherit so i'm thinking the sand snakes are gonna rise up to become some sort of new empire and like go to war against the lannisters most likely because that was a very ambitious move they did by killing tristane who i had started to get a liking of tristane because he's handsome as shit he's handsome you know he's this guy i thought he could fight dude i just want to see a tristane fight see maybe he could have had some skills because you know his upbringing as the aristocracy and his he probably had some training and I was like, come on, Tristan, you can do it, Tristan. Of course, in the um, Marine, nothing much. Tyrion was introduced, fan favorite Tyrion Lannister. Came back, he's there, he's doing his thing, and, and it wasn't too... But there was like this guy spying at him through the door. And um, not too interesting, the parts of um, Daenerys and Tyrion. But this last part, I think now with the last line just now, you haven't seen her do what I've seen her do. And, you know, Stannis hasn't seen it, but Stannis has seen her do what she's seen her do. Eh. Yeah, she took off her kit. We saw her tits. She became an old woman. At first, when you look at the window, you thought it was like Daenerys and she you thought she was seeing the prince who was, you know, whoever was, you know, the prophesized one. You thought that whenever she was she was looking at a prophet one because you saw this lady with the white hair but it turns out that it was her and she's an old woman you know regarding melisandre and her being an old lady instead a crone some cronish type character melisandre the red crone the red crone i'd still tap that you know what i'm saying 150,000 years old of red lady She's actually a red lady who sucks the life force out of people. Every time she wears the necklace, I, I'd still tap that, you know. I'd, I'd totally still tap that. Arya is there too, and she's on another typical, like, fantasy-style story quest with the assassin training, which is pretty much what you'd expect from the general storyline of the book. But it, I think that still needs time to develop. She's going to be like some Ezio Auditore-style, you know, blind assassin kind of like... Sh -sh -sh but yeah, I'm still generally more interested in those three parts right now as of season six, as of this episode. Uh, the Sansa, Brienne, Theon, Podrick, the things happening in Dorne, and the old lady Melisandre. Who's the name of the actor who played Melisandre? Carice Van Houten. I just quickly searched it up just now. Uh, decent start to the season. Uh, since it's everybody's game now literally game of thrones right now it's anybody's game right now in my opinion i've told this to my friends uh, that this show has been morally bankrupt of a hero since uh rob stark died you know morally it's been an interesting show but it, it hasn't had any classical protagonist that you would just root for other than Jon snow but now now he's going through some stuff and obviously he's probably going to come back because of the red woman and she's revealing more of herself hey yo revealing more of herself and suddenly i'm shirtless and i think that um since this is gonna be a really interesting season because like i said the book watchers and the series watchers are all on the same page at this point so expect a lot of reviews on the internet i just want to give it my two cents because uh you know there is a saying that goes i only do two things throughout an entire year watch game of thrones and wait for game of thrones and it is that time in season again ladies and gentlemen so i'll catch you all next week same time same place westeros awaits <laughs>